Hello, Green Juice Man here. Um, gosh, this feels really weird doing a video with just looking at a camera and nobody else about, but I'll give it a go. Well, here I am, another victim of the high fat, raw, vegan diet. I, I say high fat. So I've been, it's about three years ago now since I, um, since I, thought that I would give this a go, um, you know, living, living a much healthier lifestyle than what I had been doing before. Um, and I, I tried the, uh, I tried um, juicing and um, ev eventually got onto a 92 day juice feast, which I completed. Um, and I downloaded quite a few videos about that, which are still there if you want to have a look at them. Um, and I, after the, that um, sort of transitioned immediately onto, you know, the, 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 the salads with the three or four avocados and nuts and seeds and all, all the goodies and oil and balsamic vinegar. Oh, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, and felt absolutely awful. I did that for a while gained quite a lot of weight. I did lose a lot of weight on the on the 92 day juice feast. Um, but that sure enough that started to go on pretty quick. Desperation I thought I'd do a 100 day juice feast. Um, and I, I think I did 30 days of that. Um, and then I don't know something happened and basically it, it I went pretty much downhill from there um, over time. Although I, I I have to say my eating was always healthier, um, but I did virtually go back to all the stuff that I've been doing before, you know, but I won't get into that now. It's not really what this is about. Um, and I'd often seen the, these websites, you know, for, for fruitarianism and, um, and I looked at some of that and I thought, yeah, that looks, that looks interesting. And then I found 30, 30 bananas a day um, and watching some of those and I thought, yeah, that, now that does sound cool because coming from an eating disorder background, um, the idea of having sort of unlimited, <clears throat> being able to eat unlimited food or unlimited fruit was very appealing. Um, and around that time I found out about Doug Graham as well. Um, and I bought a copy of the 801010 book and, and joined 30 bad website. And um, on the 4th of July last year, I had a go at doing the, doing this, this lifestyle, you know, the, the, the high carb, low fat. Um, yeah, and, and here we are now, over nine months into it, and I really want to emphasize a couple of things on this is one is I have not cheated whatsoever. I have done this 100%. Um, my, my, own, my only little glitches on this was occasionally I, I'd like have a bowl of, of not cooked, but of raw broad beans and peas just occasionally because I sort of crave something other than, 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 than the, the fruit, you know, but it's not often and I've kept my fat very 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 low I've probably only had sort of four or five avocados in the well it's getting on for 10 months now that I've been doing this I've had no other no other oils or nuts or anything like that I haven't you know no seeds nothing so I've kept that low um, I've tried to I've tried to exercise to the best of my ability um, and I've had good weeks and good months, you know, where I've been able to get out of my, my bike and at least an hour and a half a day of, of good hilly, hilly road work. Um, not particularly great time, but you know, whatever. Um, sleep's been a problem for me because it just has been. I, I've I tried to go to bed early, but I don't sleep very well. I wake up early in the morning. I've tried, you know, I don't want to try too hard because you start to try too hard and that makes it even worse. Um, sunlight's always an issue in this part of the world here in the southwest of England, not easy. Um, especially today, you ought to see it out there, it's, it's absolutely appalling. Um, 
what else is there that I'm meant to do? Drinking water I've been a lot better at than ever was in my life. Um, I always start the day with a with at least, well, probably a pint and a half, maybe a bit more than that. Maybe, sometimes I do, sometimes I do more like a couple of litres, you know. But I do drink more during the day. And, and my diet is mainly smoothies. I, I, I love the smoothies. I cram loads of bananas in. Um, and and maybe I, I do juice oranges to add to the bananas and then I, I put frozen berries in of all different types. And, you know, we don't have a good selection here in the UK. So just I just do what I can. And, and that's been all good. Um, yeah, now, <laughs> That there's, I've got a lot of negative things about this lifestyle, which is not to do with the lifestyle, I'm sure, but it's to do with me. Um, and I'll just touch on those now. I don't want to do too long a video because I'd like to expand on these in later videos because I think that's, um, that could be helpful. But, the, the, you know, one thing which I'd hoped for which didn't happen, and, and the more I watch videos such as Harleys and Freelies and other people out there, I realise that weight loss is not going to be something that's going to happen too quick. Um, I, I don't know what, <laughs> to be honest, I don't really know what I've lost on this, on this because I've, I did start to weigh myself a little bit at the beginning and then I watched these videos about, you know, throw the scale out, you know, it's the, the worst possible thing you could be doing is weighing and, you know, it's more about getting enough in and making sure you're hydrated enough. And, and so I've taken, you know, I've tried to take all the advice that I've been given and I really don't weigh myself. But I, I must admit, probably once a month I get the scale and I have a look and in the last four or five months, it's, it's come out the same every month, you know, and in, in pounds that's stayed around 187, 188 pounds, which is probably 20 pounds more than I'd like to be and I had hope that they would have come off and my main, my main reason for weight loss is not so much vanity although there's always vanity even at my massive age we're still vain about our, our weight I think but it's more for like my fitness on the bike because I don't want to be I don't want to be carrying fat up and down hills all the time um, and you know just an overall you know being able to, to exercise we're doing more exercising um, but I'm, I'm practicing trying to be able to do push-ups at the moment. I haven't got, I can't actually do full floor push, push-ups with the whole body, but I'm practicing sort of doing kneeling ones and stuff like that. And I'm quite sure if I was, didn't have 20 pounds extra to lift every time, it would be a lot easier and probably I could achieve a lot more. So, you know, I, I do want weight loss, but I don't want to go against the, the principles of what I'm being told and, and what I believe in, because it's not only what I'm being told, but I do absolutely believe in this lifestyle it's just that I haven't got there yet and I'm very very impatient like we all are and you know and the other thing I want to say which I will expand on a bit more in another video as well is about age because nearly all the videos that I'm watching there on 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 30 bad on YouTube and you know I'm, I'm, I'm subscribed to Harley's and I love watching his videos I love the outrageousness I love the just saying it as it is and and that, that's what it's about to me. And I know that he might put people's noses out of joint, but I don't give a shit to be honest, because that is what I want to hear. You know, all the, you know, fat is fat, and and you know, meat is killing us, and it really is an eye opener. It's completely opened my eyes to so many things in the world, and I'd like to thank everybody who's been doing videos, um, and who's and the members of Thirty Bad, all these people out there. Who are, who are fighting for for a better world, you know, and and just the whole thing about animals is just so sick, and I've, I feel I feel sick with myself that I've been indulging in that for so many years, and I'm just so glad that I found something now and I can actually see the truth. Um, but what I was going to say was about the age, because I don't see many people of my age on there, you know, old, um, older people. I'm, I'm 57 years old, and. Um, you know, it's it's easy to look there and see sort of 20, 30 year old people who look really fit and who've got a lot more life ahead of them. Um, and I guess some of it's jealousy because sometimes I think, God, why didn't I do something worthwhile in my life when I was 20, as opposed to just going through that lifestyle of, um, 
you know, following the sheep, being a sheep and just following everybody else. Why didn't I do something like that? It would have been fantastic, but it doesn't matter. But, you know, and, and also recovery. I, I do believe recovery. Um, I'm doing this for depression, a lot of it, and, and sort of mental, mental issues, but depression primarily. Um, and it's going to take me a long time, you know. The, the, I believe the older you are, the longer it will take. The more, the, the more you've got to, the more you've got to sort of get out of your system and, and re-educate your body into a healthy way. You know, to, to, I don't believe a 20-year-old. I mean, they can have done very bad things at 20, but it's still less time. And and you know, I've done bad things. I've I've done lots of sort of addictive type behaviours, a lot of alcohol, some drugs. Um, and definite terrible food disorder, you know, for, for 35 plus years. So, you know, it's not just because, oh, I've decided I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to get well nine months later. Well, hey, I'm reborn. It doesn't work like that. So anyway, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing some more, some more videos. It feels better already just sort of st starting to talk. Um, I don't have to watch it myself. So you poor people can watch it and we'll go from there. But I will definitely start to put a more, you know, a few more of these up and discuss um, partic particular things, which I'm finding difficult. And you know, like I shouldn't say it, but I've, I, I'm not, you know, I'm suffering from low energy lethargicness. I don't know if that's mental or physical. I'm not sure, but all I know is I'm doing what I'm told. I'm doing what, not what I'm told. That sounds awful. I'm doing what is suggested by people who have been doing this and it's succeeding. Oh, and the other highlight of last year, and this I will finish on this one, the highlight of last year was going to um, a, a place in Sussex and being able to see Dr. Doug Graham. And, and that's a long, it was a long drive for us. My, my, my wife came as well. And we did a return trip up to Sussex in, in a day. And I tell you, just to see him and his wonderful wife, um, Ros, Rosalind or Ros, um, and, and she talked as well. It just made me, even more committed to this so thank you so much everybody um and i'll look forward to seeing you the next time the next time i do one of these and i'll be watching you so keep on posting those videos up and thank you so much bye for now